Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. We want us to know how to fix this skewed picture. Basically, it's distorted because the camera lens is bowed and the angle it was taken from really distorted the top end of this cathedral. So what we want to do is basically distort it back into shape. What I would do first is change the canvas because if you try to stretch one corner or the other, you're going to need more space than what the canvas is giving us. So I always like to give me a more of an empty blank canvas. So I'm going to go up here to image, resize, canvas size. And down here on the new size, I'm going to change that from 21 to 28. I'm going to just give me a lot of extra space. I'm going to go to 50 inches wide by, let's say, 40 inches tall. And you're going to see what happens when I hit OK. Boom. It gives me all this extra space that I can use. That way, I can take the photo and resize it really small or really big or anywhere in between. So now, let's go ahead and do the distort that we need. But first, what we want to do is make sure that we get straight up and down when we do start distorting it. How do we know? By turning on in the view the grid right here. So as soon as I turn on the grid, see what happens? There's a whole grid here that we can use to help make sure that these poles are straight up and down and that the cathedral straight up and down. Now that the photo is chosen, its layer is chosen, I'm going to go up here to image, transform, and distort. And now we can grab any one of these corners and drag them around and distort freely. So if I left grab on this and while I'm grabbing it, you can see I'm distorting it. But what I want to do is go straight out. So in order to do that, let me bring it back kind of close to where it was. If I hold the shift key down while I'm holding the left mouse button, it keeps it on a level horizontal pane. It doesn't allow me to, to distort it the wrong way. So now watch the cathedral as I pull out like this. It's straightening out and I look at the poles and everything else and this looks pretty straight on both ends there right around here and then finally I'll let go and I think I because of this pole in the bottom right sticking out a little bit I can grab this bottom corner here and then hold the shift again and bring it in until those poles are straight up and down which is right about there and that's looking a whole heck of a lot better I'm gonna hit OK I'll go ahead and turn off the uh, grid so now you can see the cathedral. There it is. It's all out of distortion. It's a little bit pulled, stretched tall. So I'll grab the middle box right here and I'll go ahead and bring it down. I could bring it really low or really tall, but I want to just bring it down to what looks pretty natural, which is going to be probably right around here. That looks good right there. Now at the very end, I can go ahead and crop my tool using the cropping tool here. And I'm going to do is I don't want to start up here because obviously if I crop like this, I'm missing all this extra part of the picture. So let me do that again. I'm going to start down here, which is the furthest left edge that I have at the bottom. And I'll come back up like this. I'll go ahead and crop this photo. Oh, say right around here like that and let go of the left mouse button that's looking pretty good i'll hit the ok button and there we go we've got a newly undistorted photo and now we can do some color corrections i can go to enhance and do smart fix and look at that it made it a little bit more contrasty now we can do that again with the color go to adjust hue saturation and let's go ahead and take the color out or add a little more color make it more vibrant look at that and that's looking really super nice and lastly, I can go back to Enhance, Lighting, and Brightness and Contrast. And watch the photo. I can make it less contrasty or really harsh contrast like that. And then bring the lightness up a little bit. And now that's looking really super sharp. And there we go. Now we've got the full cathedral straight up and down, undistorted. The color's looking really nice. And that's it for this tutorial. So this is Rich calling it quits, saying over and out.